All right. Today we're going to be talking about Are We a Psychopath? You guys can actually figure out whether you're a psychopath or not by answering a couple of riddles. You can determine whether you're a psychopath or not by looking at how you answer the question. Alright, what is this test? Let's okay. uh, give it a try. So there's a, there's a list of questions that you would have to answer in order to figure out whether you're a psychopath or not. And just to let you guys know, this is, this is not anything scientific, this is just kind of for funsies sake, so if you do get them right, don't worry about it, right? <laughs> we'll see. Now this first one, it's, it's kind of messed up, but it's an easy question. Now there was a little kid, and he got presents from Santa Claus. He got a soccer ball, and he got a bicycle, but the kid was not happy. Why? He could have had more stuff? Is this multiple choice? No, Do it's we not get a multiple choice. Oh, so we just say we just whatever it? comes to our yeah, mind? Yeah, you guys just gotta figure it out. Oh, wow. Wow. Well, oh. yeah, no, the kid wanted more stuff or something else. Kid's greedy. Kids are greedy. What about you, Hosa? Um, he... The kid knows that Santa Claus isn't real and that Santa Claus is his dad. Okay, well, sorry, both of you guys are wrong. Uh, oh, dang it. Any normal person would say either the kid didn't like the present or the kid wanted more presents, but a psychopath will say the kid didn't have any legs. What? Interesting. What? <laughs> wow. This is so <laughs> dark. So out of left field, Daniel. All right, next question. <laughs> One night, a man goes out because he's thirsty to drink some water. After he finishes drinking water, he looks to the right and he sees a robber. Now this man runs away and goes and hides in the closet. Now if you were the robber that saw this and you had a knife in your hand, what would you do? Depends what I'm stealing. If I'm stealing something valuable, <laughs> no witnesses. Yes, but what would you do? Tell me what you would do. I would pretend like I'm walking away. I would open the front door, close the front door, let him come out, stab him when he comes out. Easy. No witnesses. What would you do, Hosa? I would just get the hell out of the house. Someone saw me. Let's get out. Oh, wow, Steven. You actually got that question right. So Good. a normal person would say he, they would open the closet and kill them, or they would just run away. But a psychopath will say they will wait quietly. Oh until, shit, really? Oh until that God. person comes out and then kill them. Wow. Oh shit, I was actually saying that! Oh my god, okay. So, uh, <laughs> Steven, about that party next week, I don't think you should go. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, I won't bring a knife. Knives are too informal. Alright, question number three. You're living in an apartment. You're on the fifth floor, and you're just... You're tired, but you decide to look out the window. And when you looked out the window, you witnessed a man being murdered by another man. But that that man saw you too. 
and then instantly that man pointed a finger at you and moved that finger up and down, up and down a couple of times. Now, what did that mean? So the man who killed him kill, killed the other man, saw me and then pointed at me yep. and then moved his fingers up and down and up and down. Yep. That means he's coming for me next. He saw the he saw me see the murder. No witnesses. But why up and down and up and down? Like, there's got to be a reason for it. Because you would usually go left and right and left and right, or place two fingers on your eyes and then on them. Or I'm looking at you, I'll be watching, or something like that, you know what I mean? Why up and down and up and down? Hmm. Well, you guys are out of time. The answer is... <laughs> the psychopath is actually counting the floors. So which floor are you Holy living shit. in? That's that's creepy. Yeah, oh, any way. Oh, that's what you mean? No, a normal person will say, "Oh, he's pointing at you like, oh, I'm, it's a it's a threat." But a psychopath mm -hmm. will answer, "Oh, the guy's counting the stairs." Oh, hey. that makes sense though. Like, mm -hmm. I was confused as to what the question was asking, but it's okay. Next, right. next. Next question. You're a girl and you're at your aunt's funeral. And you're mourning, and then you see right next to you a really handsome man that you fall in love instantly. The man's wearing all black and he has a black hair. The next night, you kill your sister. Now, why did you kill her? So you can see him again at her funeral. Steven got it right! Yep, Steven, I think you might be a psychopath. So a, a oh normal person says, Oh, um, because that girl might uh, be dating that the handsome man or that handsome man might like the girl. But the psychopath will say, I will kill the girl so that there will be another funeral to see that man. Yeah. Wow, um, okay. That's kind of, you're That's messed really up. That's really weird. Steven are you okay? Steven. Do you, I'm do you great. Some counseling? I'm great, Hosa. Where do you live? I'm great. <laughs> uh, you, you can come over here. I'm all the way in Montreal. Oh, man, Steven. All right, next question. Now, this one is a multiple choice. Okay. And you got, you got, I need you guys to close your eyes and imagine this with me. Okay. You're in this forest, and it's super dark, all right? And you're walking through the forest, and you feel something's behind your back. And so you turn around as fast as you can. What do you see? One, the opposite sex. Two, nothing. Three, a ghost. Four, a wild animal. Five, a dog. Nothing. I'm pretty sure the answer to psychopath is a girl, or like the opposite sex. Both of you guys are normal human beings. The answer what? is a dog. Why? I actually don't know the specific reason, but John Hawkins, professor of, um, I think, Harvard, did this, this this psychological test where psychopaths has the highest chance of picking dogs. Well, I mean, like, I guess a member of the opposite sex is a human being, so regular people interact with human beings, so it's probably not that one. Nothing because you're not crazy. Ghost isn't a real thing, so it's not really tangible. A wild animal is unfamiliar, and it's not a human companion. So that's probably why it's going to be a dog. But why don't normal people choose? Because normal people are scared of the opposite sex, wild animals, nothing, and ghosts. They're scared of the opposite sex? I don't know. No clue. <laughs> We're speculating. Okay. Alright, last question, guys. Yes. 
Steven, if you get this right, I swear I don't think we can be friends. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so this murderer decides to stab another man, and he stabbed him five times. And after stabbing him five times, he left the elevator. Since this elevator had windows everywhere, you can actually see inside the elevator. And this murderer just kept on watching the elevator. Why? So you said the elevator had windows, right? Mm -hmm. But it could also be an elevator that is made out of glass and it's a mall elevator. And since if someone had died in the elevator, everyone else would be watching. So the man who killed the guy, if he wasn't watching, that would kind of stand out. If he mm -hmm. was the only one who wasn't watching. Yeah, no, I get what Host is trying to say. So he watched um, the person bleeding to death inside the elevator just as any other mall customers would do. Correct. He did not flee the scene because it would have been awkward to find anyone walking away from that kind of horrid scene. Good job, yeah. guys. I mean, you guys didn't get all of it right, but Hosa, you're a normal person. Steven, I love you, and I care about you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Also, it's important to just remind everyone that this is just a simple test. It has nothing to do with real science. It's... One of these fun pseudoscience questions that if you do get right, you're probably smarter than the rest of us, but you know, it's it's just a quiz, man. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. Sometimes the voices in your head are your best friends, Daniel, Hosa, Andrew, 